Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. And I just got home from work and I have lots and lots and lots of boxes of candles. So I'm really excited. Like it's candle day here at Casa Candelia. So uh, I am going to do two videos tonight. Um, sorry for the overload. If you don't want to watch any, just move on. No big deal. One is going to be a homeworks haul, and one is going to be a Bath and Body Works haul. I did go kind of crazy on Bath and Body Works. Not, not really crazy. I mean, not like Leanne crazy. Leanne. Um, but, but having watched Leanne's video, I ordered uh, one candle that she recommended, or that was in her uh, big, massive, I think she calls it her massive candle hauls, like every season. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Leanne is Southern Comfort, S-O-T-S-O-U-T-H-R-E-N, not E-R-N, S-O-U-T-H-R-E-N, Comfort, Southern Comfort. Um, she's a great, great uh, YouTuber, Instagrammer, really, really enjoy Leanne. And then I also ordered some candles based on Canada Kim's recommendation. If you don't know Canada Kim, it's Canada Kim 1978, also fabulous. Uh, YouTuber, Instagrammer, friend, who we're going to meet in uh, April. She's coming to Texas, so um, those are those are the Bath and Body Works candles. Okay, I'll get, I'm wasting time here. So the first one I'm going to do is Bath and Body Works, and then I'll stop and do my um, no no this is homework homeworks, and then I'll do a separate video for Bath and Body Works. And uh, over there, right there, are some duos, some homeworks duos, but I still have two more duos coming. So when I get all the duos in, I will um, do another video for those. And I also have a couple of the big giant pumpkins coming, and I'm going to do a comparison video of the pumpkins because I have three different pumpkins coming. No judgment. Okay. This, we're going to talk homeworks now, two minutes in. Okay, so I have the um, Harvest Collection and the Holiday Collection from the TSV from back on July 25th, Christmas in July. Um, and if you don't know, uh, these are homeworks candles, and they are 14.5 ounces. They have a really pretty, I mean, uh, uh, they're just so beautiful to look at. You know, I don't even want to burn these candles. They are so beautiful. Now, this is, I've been buying uh, Homeworks candles since the beginning fall, or I guess, or summer of 2017, uh, when Harry Slacken came back to QVC. And this is the first time they've had these gold lids. And I think this is really, really beautiful. It's... Um, obviously an orange wax with this gold it's it's nighttime it's dark and the lighting is horrible more horrible than i usually am but you know, usually it's so just kind of bear with me but anyhow um these are just beautiful candles to look at if you never burned this candle i think you're still ahead because it's beautiful to look at in my mind okay but add to that the func the functionality, the performance of the candle, of the, of the candle, these homeworks candles, 90% of them that I have had, I enjoy. There was a couple that I didn't really care for, like chrysanthemum, the most recent one. But anyhow, so function, aesthetics, I mean, I love homeworks candles, and I can say that honestly, I love homeworks candles. So anyway, enough rambling. This is the first one that I was kind of leery about, pumpkin caramel corn. And the notes in this are uh, buttery crackle caramel, pumpkin spice, and fresh popped corn. And I was not really thinking I was going to like this. Like, I don't want my house to smell like popcorn. Um, oh, and one other thing I want to point out, if you're not familiar with Homer's Candles, oh, sorry, it comes with this, like, uh, dimensional cover so that the wicks don't get smushed. So that keeps the wicks up straight. And then there's another separate, um, oh, it's attached to this, sorry, stuck together. Um, and then, um, sorry, it has kind of like a plastic dust cover. So they come pretty well protected, pretty uh, impressive there. So again, yeah, so uh, fresh popped corn. It's like, I don't want my house to smell like popcorn. And definitely you smell popcorn but you get the sweet but the buttery caramel note in there as well and slight pumpkin spice i don't get a lot of pumpkin spice right now now when i burn it maybe i'll get it out a little bit of pumpkin spice but mainly i'm getting caramel corn so it is sweet it is um 
you know, ooey gooey. So if, if you're not into really super gooey, like caramel scents, this might not be the one for you, but I definitely would say check it out because maybe when you burn it, this pumpkin spice is gonna come out a little bit more. Um, so that was um, uh, pumpkin caramel corn. This next one is autumn pine cone. And this is a brown wax. And again, it has the gold plaid and the gold lid. I just think these are just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. When I saw them on, um, say, Special Value Days, like, oh my God, they are so beautiful. Um, where's the little doodad? I should have done this before. Okay, so the notes on autumn pump, uh, pine cone are fallen pine cones, red oak, fresh eucalyptus, and juniper berry. Now, I really like juniper. Mm -hmm. This is cologne. This is a men's cologne. I'm not really one for cologne scents. Um, but it's, it's a fresh cologne. It's not cloying. It's not... Uh, definitely getting the pine cone, which makes it kind of a fresh cologne. I'm not really getting the eucalyptus, a little bit of juniper. Um, so I will give this a shot. I'll give it a shot. And uh, if I don't like it, I will definitely pass it on. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not big on colognes. And funny thing is, I'm, and I, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, out of all the Hallmark's candles that I've purchased since Harry came back, um, I can't recall really any really strong cologne candles that he has put out like that. That's really reading cologne to me. Okay, and this final one in the Harvest collection is Harvest Leaves, which I just finished burning one from last year's uh, collection. Um, in fact, it's right over there on the table. And this is Spice Pumpkin, Mandarin, Cranberry, Fir Balsam, and Applewood. Really nice fall scent. I really, really like this. Definitely what is coming out to me right now is Cranberry. Cranberry. And maybe like a little bit of Applewood. But anyway, I've burned that before and I already know I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm very glad that that came back in the collection. And then the next three are the holiday collection. And so um, after, yeah, of course you can burn whatever one you, want, you want, whenever you want, but Harry wanted you to kind of, I guess, go through a progression of these candles. So um, let's see, this one is Frozen Balsam and this is a repackage from last year, which I love and I think I still have one left from last year actually. Um, and the scents in this are fir balsam, frosted ozone, bergamot, oat moss, and evergreen. And this is Christmas tree. So if you have an artificial tree, as I do and lots of people do, definitely this will give you the scent of having a fresh Christmas tree in your house without having to clean up the needles, which is tedious. Um, the next one is Winter Hearth. And this is a new one. Oh, and I should say too that the, the winter collection is back to the silver lid. So this is like silver uh, plaid, or I don't know, plaid is probably the right word, but we'll go with plaid, um, and silver lids. And so the, what was that? The frozen balsam was green. Winter hearth is um, white, a white wax. And the notes on winter hearth, crisp juniper, Crisp, sorry, crisp juniper, warmed brandy, incense, and icy spruce. Oh, this is nice. Hello. This is uh, outdoorsy. Also reading slightly. Hmm. Slightly like icy colony, like a really fresh outdoors I mean slightly not not as heavy as the pine cone one but uh, that's really nice though warmed brandy hmm 
maybe I'm getting a little bit of the brandy, kind of giving it a warmth, a depth. Oh, nice. I actually like that. I wasn't, the first sniff is like, mm, but I, I think I'm going to like that. Okay. And then finally, in the winter collection, we have um, Mistletoe Magic. And it's really hard to see the labels because of the light reflections. I'm sorry. Uh, nice bright red, cherry red, super nice. Uh, oh, I can smell it too. Black currant, pine needles, fir balsam, and pomelo, which is grapefruit, or similar to grapefruit. Definitely, I'm getting that currant. It's very tart, a tart note. And the pine. Oh yeah, definitely currant and pine. That's really, really nice. And um, funny because when I cleaned out my closet, I found a whole bunch of winter wax. I, I posted a video and I had a lot of cranberry garland from Scentsy. And my thought was to mix it with some pine and balsam and fir and things like that. Um, and so that's what this is kind of along that vein of, you know, cranberry, currant and pine and balsam and stuff. Okay, so that is my, um, what? Are you coming up? Come on up and say hi. You haven't been up in a while. Come here. Come here, Wax. Come here, Wax. Come on. Come on. Come say hi. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay, so uh, that was the Harvest Collection and the Holiday Collection from QVC. They are still available on the website. Come here. Over here. Wait here, Wax. Come here, Wax. Say hi, Walks. Hey, Walksy. I missed you, Walksy. When I was at work, I missed you, Walks. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so they are still available on the website. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing at least the harvest. You know, doing some reviews, um, uh, so that you'll have a kind of a get a sense of what my thoughts are. So that if you do want to order them, you can order them um, if you choose to. So that's it for me on the Homeworks Candle Haul. I'm going to see you shortly with a Bath & Body Works Candle Haul now. So I will, what? what are you doing? He was like, she was like standing up on her back hind, hind legs. Um, I am just so tired. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm done. We're going to do Bath & Body Works now. I will see you later. Bye.